Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn in how to create and customize the navigation bar in Canva website. So as you can see right here, I have a sample website. And currently, we don't have a navigation bar for this one. So let me just show you. When you click on the preview option at the top, once you're done editing your website, as you can see, we have to check this box right here. It means that you have to include the navigation menu. But since we did not add a navigation menu or navigation bar for this website, we cannot find it right here even though we have checked this box. So what we're going to do now is to add a navigation bar. Okay, so first is you have to click on that specific page. So for example, this one. Okay, so you have to click on the notes after that and you have to give this page a title. So for example, just page one. Okay, so this is page one, then you just have to close it. Okay, and for example, let's go down here and let's click on this uh, page and click on the notes option at the bottom left. So let's say for example, this is your about page. Okay, so about us. Just have to type out right here the name of this navigation bar or the name of this page. Okay, so once you're done, you just have to click on the preview option at the top. Okay, that's right. And as you can see, you have to click on this box. Okay. And we already have here now our navigation bar. So when you click on the page one, you'd be directed to that specific page. And when you clicked on the about as option, of course, you'd be directed to the page. Now, that is just a sample, just a quick, uh, a quick overview of how you can actually add and customize the navigation bar. Now, let's start from scratch, okay? So, of course, you have to log in or sign up for a Canva account. And then, if you would like to subscribe to a pro plan, so you'd be able to access all of the features of this tool. So, you just have to go to the plans and pricing and then subscribe to your preferred plan. Okay, so here just going to start from scratch. So make sure to select the website option. Okay, and then just wait for a couple of seconds. And then you can give this website a name if you want to. Okay, now let's just add maybe about four pages and just going to add four different colors so we can see the difference. So for this page, I'm just going to use uh, maybe this color. Okay, and then for the next one, maybe this one. And then for the third page, I'm going to use this one. And for our last page, um, maybe this one would do. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and start the process. So for example, this is your home page. So it's just the same. You just have to simply click on this one and click on this notes option at the bottom left. So you just have to give this page a name. So just go to the top of right here, home. That's right. And then you just have to close it. And then you can now start uploading your own elements right here. So for example, you want to add a text. Okay, so you can add a text box. And then you also have other um, font combinations right here if you want to use this one. So for example, just going to use this one. Okay. Now let's proceed to our page number two. So for our page number two, you have to click on the notes once again, and then you have to give this page a name or a title. So for example, this is our product page. Product page, okay, so this title right here. And then you just have to close this one. So here you can upload your product photos. So you just have to go to the uploads option and you just have to select your photos. Okay, so I'm just going to use this one as a sample. Okay, now let's proceed to our page number three. So for our page number three, I'm just going to click on the notes once again. And we have to give this, uh, maybe this is your checkout page. Okay, so checked out page. Okay, so don't worry guys because this is just a sample. Okay, and then for our last page, okay, so we are going to name this one as contact 
or contact us. Okay. So you just have to add here your your phone number, your email, or your other contact information. Okay, so you just have to come here and then you just have to add your um, text styles. And then you can now add your contact details right here. Okay, and then once you're done, let's see if we have successfully add a navigation bar. So I clicked on the preview option. And as you can see at the top, we have this um, navigation bar at the top. So we have four different options. So we have the home page, we have the product page, the checkout page, and then the contact us option. Now, make sure that if you are going to publish this website, you have to include the navigation bar. Okay, so simply click on this publish website once you're done customizing everything. That's right, and then click on this publish option. Okay, now they're preparing your design, so you just have to wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, so let's try to be our website if we have successfully included the navigation bar. Okay, so as you can see, we have now the navigation bar at the top. So we have our home page, our product page, our checkout page, and then the contact us option. Now, if you would like to add more information, so again, let's go back to my other designs. For example, this one right here. So, yeah, almost they're just on the same page, right? Or the same section. So if you would like to add a new page, you just have to click on this one, okay? So this is your pages if you want this view right here to see the difference. So from here, you can also add a new page by clicking on this option right here. So you just have to simply click on it once again, and then you just have to add the information for your new page. Now, when we talked about a website on Canva, it is very simple to me, but you have to make sure that all of the websites that you are going to add are all friendly or mobile friendly. So this is what I mean. So when you click on this preview option at the top right, and when you click on this mobile option, okay, so it should be mobile friendly. So all of the elements, all of the photos that you have added when you are editing using the desktop view should be um, visible as well when you switch to mobile view. Because again, not all of your customers or users that are going to visit your website are using desktop. So you have to consider the mobile view as well. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below.